A new study shows that conservatives have a larger amygdala compared to liberals. That's right. It appears that there's actually a general physical brain difference between liberals and conservatives. Now, when looking at the news coverage of this, um, it appears that conservatives are taking this as a, as a good sign. That is to them some kind of own the libs type moment. And many conservatives online are of the opinion that that makes them smarter than liberals because of the big brain meme. Um, a larger brain is usually associated with higher intelligence, but that's not really the story here. Um, it's a larger than usual cerebral cortex. The conservative media is saying that because the amygdala plays a role in threat detection, thus they insinuate is their ability to perceive threats that liberals do not. But what is the amygdala really? The amygdala is a subcortical brain structure. It's just in front of the hippocampus, close to the temporal pole, and blends with the medial temporal cortex. It's an almond-shaped mass of gray matter that is primarily responsible for emotional responses, especially anxiety, fear, and rage. It also plays a part in identifying potential threats and activating the appropriate reaction, like the fight or flight response. Now, interesting here is how it works as kind of a threat detector. The amygdala has projections that reach from the hypothalamus and the brainstem, like the stria terminalis. It's the hypothalamus that activates the fight or flight, and get ready to fight or to run away. But the orbital region of the prefrontal cortex has an influence which can alter or inhibit emotional responses based on knowledge. The amygdala also plays a big part in implicit learning, which means learning without trying. This is especially active during high emotional states. These high emotional states are linked to fear conditioning, another type of learning. It's where a person learns to associate stimuli with a threatening feeling like immigrants destroying the American way of life. In lies the problem. Conservative media is pretty much just 24-hour-a-day fear-mongering. Every day, Fox News has something new to scare you with. Either it's Antifa coming to force your daughter to have sex with a black man, or it's telling you if you eat soup in the wrong way, people will think you're gay. Uh, the, the ice cream, you know my rule about right. men eating soup in public. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's manly to go like that with a soup and you're blowing on it. It's just a, not a good look. I think the same thing for ice cream. You should save that for vacation. So don't eat your soup like a homo. This kind of nonstop fear conditioning combined with an enlarged amygdala is a bad mix. An enlarged anything in the brain makes it more active, exhibit more you know, power within the brain's system. This would actually cause an overreaction of the fear response and being more susceptible to a feeling of threat, particularly where none exists, but it's only it perceived in the person's mind. The threat detection mechanism is basically overclocked. This is true. Already it is known that hyperactivity in the amygdala is linked to borderline personality disorder, a personality dysregulation that includes explosive outbursts of anger. An enlarged amygdala volume is also associated with internalizing syndrome, which is fairly serious. Your amygdala also enlargens when you're anxious and depressed, which can happen when someone is constantly under anxiety of an existential threat of Mexicans. One, your amygdala also enlargens when you are you're anxious or you're depressed, which can happen when someone is constantly under the anxiety of an existential threat of Mexicans. This is not a good thing. You're not based. Something is definitely wrong. An enlarged amygdala is not a good thing. It's not a benefit. It's not making you more aware of threats that liberals aren't seeing. It it's actually really is a serious medical problem that in itself isn't actually bad, but what it causes is very serious. There's very much an enlarged amygdala among people with severe depression and anxiety, and those are very serious medical conditions which are actually on the rise and have been for quite some time. So um, please, conservative media, if you're going to go out there and start bragging about this being a big brain moment, please don't do that because that's not what this is.
Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.